In the sleepy town of Blackwood, a peculiar figure had been causing a stir among the residents, especially the students of the local high school. For the past six months, this mysterious person, known as the Masked Stranger, had been walking past the school at the same time every day, never failing to capture the attention of the curious teenagers. The Masked Stranger's appearance was what intrigued the students the most. From head to toe, not an inch of skin was visible, as every part of their body was concealed by mismatched and tattered clothing. A long brown duster coat, tartan slacks, and a stained shirt were the usual attire, occasionally accompanied by a scarf, a hat, or an additional coat. The stranger's hands were always covered in gloves, either leather or silk, and their face was hidden behind a peculiar tweed mask. The mask was the most perplexing aspect of the masked stranger's ensemble. It fit perfectly around their head, with no visible seams or eye holes, leaving everyone wondering how they managed to navigate the streets without any apparent difficulty. The students' imaginations ran wild with theories about the stranger's identity and the reason behind their unusual attire. Some speculated that the masked stranger might be suffering from a rare skin disease, while others believed they could be a former worker at the old chemical plant, badly burned in the factory fire that had occurred decades ago. However, this theory seemed unlikely, as the stranger would have to be at least 90 years old to fit that description. The most unsettling rumor, spread by the older students, suggested that the masked stranger was a notorious serial killer, seeking refuge in their quiet town and concealing their face to avoid recognition. Despite the endless speculation, no one had the courage to approach the masked stranger and unravel the truth behind their mysterious presence. That is, until the night of October 26th, when a group of high school students found themselves entangled in a horrifying encounter that would change their lives forever. Olivia, a shy and reserved student, had been invited to her first real party by a classmate she barely knew. Excited by the prospect of underage drinking and socializing with her peers, she eagerly accepted the invitation. The night of the party arrived, and Olivia found herself having a fantastic time, enjoying the company of her friends and the thrill of breaking the rules. As the party wound down, Olivia and her three close friends, Ethan, Liam and Sophia, decided to leave just before 11 o'clock. They stumbled out of the house, their laughter echoing through the quiet streets as they made their way home. Ethan's house was the first stop, and as he approached his front door, a light came on, revealing his angry mother waiting for him. The group couldn't help but chuckle at Ethan's <laughs> misfortune, realizing he had forgotten to inform his parents about his plans for the night. Olivia, Liam and Sophia, continued their journey, still joking and laughing about the events of the evening. As they turned a corner, they suddenly froze in their tracks, their laughter replaced by a tense silence. There, walking down the middle of the road, was the masked stranger. The trio instinctively crouched behind a fence, peering out to confirm their suspicions. In the dim light of a flickering street lamp, they could make out the stranger's familiar attire, but something was different this time. The masked stranger had removed their gloves, exposing their hands for the first time. Olivia and her friends squinted, desperate to catch a glimpse of the stranger's hidden features. Suddenly, the masked stranger turned and began walking towards a nearby house. They stepped onto the porch and opened the door, slowly removing their mask as they entered. The door slammed shut behind them, leaving the teenagers more intrigued than ever. Liam, the most daring of the group, spoke up first, declaring that he was going to uncover the truth about the masked stranger once and for all. He claimed to have a foolproof plan, and before Olivia or Sophia could protest, he was already halfway across the street. The girls exchanged a worried glance before reluctantly following their friend. As they approached the masked stranger's house, Olivia noticed its dilapidated state. The paint was peeling, the gutter hanging precariously, and an upstairs window had been shattered. The trio gathered around the front door, keeping their voices low as Liam explained his plan. He would simply knock on the door, and when the masked stranger answered, he would pretend to have the wrong house and quickly leave, but not before getting a good look at the stranger's face. Olivia and Sophia, though hesitant, agreed to hide behind a bush at the end of the property while Liam carried out his plan. As Olivia surveyed the house, a sense of familiarity washed over her. She remembered her father's friend, who had gone through a rough divorce and stayed in their spare room for a few weeks before winning the house back in a court settlement. Around six months ago, he had moved out of town without a word, leaving behind his prized possession, a cherished car. Olivia couldn't believe that this rundown house was the same one she had visited years ago. 
Her thoughts were interrupted by the sound of Liam's knuckles rapping on the front door. He turned to the girls, flashing a goofy grin and a thumbs up, but his expression quickly changed as the door creaked open. The masked stranger stood in the entrance, their mask and most of their clothing removed, yet still shrouded in shadows. The house was completely dark, making it difficult for Olivia and Sophia to discern any details from their hiding spot. Liam began to stutter out his rehearsed excuse, but his words were cut short by a blood-curdling scream. The girls watched in horror as the masked stranger grabbed Liam by his lower jaw and violently yanked him inside the house, the door slamming shut behind them. Olivia and Sophia remained frozen in shock, their minds racing with the realization that their friend was in grave danger. Sophia, overcome with panic, bolted towards the front door, pounding on it and yelling expletives. Olivia, snapping out of her stupor, raced after her friend, pulling her away from the house. Are you crazy? Olivia hissed, holding Sophia tightly. Before Sophia could respond, the front door began to creak open once more. The girls, consumed by fear, sprinted away from the house, diving behind the corner of the building. They pressed their backs against the wall, holding their breath and waiting for the masked stranger to emerge. Minutes passed, and the only sound was the pounding of their own hearts. Eventually, Sophia mustered the courage to peek around the edge of the wall. To her surprise, she saw no one. She cautiously moved out a little further, confirming that the door was still closed. Olivia, still on edge, pulled her friend back, insisting that they call the police. Sophia scoffed, reminding Olivia that they'd likely be arrested for underage drinking. She argued that they'd spend the night in a jail cell, and by the time they could explain themselves, Liam would be dead. Olivia, though skeptical of Sophia's reasoning, found herself at a loss for words. Before she could protest further, Sophia crept over to a window, cupping her hands to peer inside. Olivia, frustrated but unwilling to abandon her friends, followed suit. As Sophia scanned the interior of the house, she suddenly yelped and crouched down, prompting Olivia to do the same. In a hushed whisper, Olivia asked what Sophia had seen. With fear in her eyes, Sophia described the masked stranger, now mostly disrobed, emerging from what appeared to be a door leading to the basement. Sophia began to mutter incoherently, convinced that the masked stranger had spotted her. Olivia, her stomach churning with dread, knew that Liam was likely being held in the basement. Stealing herself, she stood up and peered through the window, relieved to find no sign of the masked stranger. She noticed that the window, like the front door, had been left unlocked and slightly ajar. Taking a deep breath, Olivia pulled the window open fully. Sophia looked at her in disbelief as Olivia asked for a leg up. Despite her reservations, Sophia complied, and once Olivia was inside, she helped her friend climb in after her. Before entering, Sophia grabbed a fist-sized rock from the garden, claiming it was for self-defense. The house was eerily still, a thin layer of dust covering every surface. The only sound was the distant dripping of a faucet. The girls crept cautiously towards the door the masked stranger had emerged from, Olivia gently opening it to reveal a staircase descending into the pitch-black basement. Afraid to call out Liam's name and alert the masked stranger, Olivia began to descend the stairs, Sophia following closely behind. Olivia reached into her coat pocket, her fingers finding the familiar metal of a small wind-up torch her mother had given her for safe nighttime travel. As they reached the bottom of the stairs, Olivia switched on the torch, illuminating the room. It took a moment for the horrifying scene to register in Olivia's mind, but Sophia's piercing scream confirmed the nightmarish reality before them. Liam hung upside down from the ceiling, a chained hook driven through both of his ankles. Deep, fresh cuts marred his throat, wrists and legs, his blood pouring into a series of angled metal sheets that directed the flow into a steel trough. Four other bodies hung from chains, some appearing to have been there for weeks, all serving the same macabre purpose. Olivia and Sophia turned to flee, scrambling up the stairs. As they reached the top, Olivia's torch beam fell upon a motionless figure standing in the doorway. They slowly backed down the stairs, their hearts pounding in their chests. Suddenly the figure began to lift off the ground, shooting down the stairs like a projectile. Olivia dove out of the way, but Sophia was not as fortunate. The masked stranger pinned her to the ground, its black claw-like fingernails running across her neck. Olivia screamed, drawing the creature's attention. It rose to its feet and lunged at her, but Olivia grabbed a rusted hook dangling from a chain above her and swung it with all her might. The hook smashed into the masked stranger's head, caving in its skull. The creature went limp, and Olivia nearly lost her balance, the momentum of the swing almost sending her tumbling into the trough of blood. She steadied herself and dropped down next to Sophia who lay motionless, a gaping wound on the side of her neck, tears streaming down her face. 
Olivia turned to make her way back up the stairs, her heart heavy with the loss of her friends. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw movement. To her horror, the masked stranger yanked the rusted hook from its head and stood up, straightening itself before turning to face her. Olivia bolted up the remaining steps, the creature's animalistic screech echoing behind her as it gave chase. She burst into the living room, making a desperate dash for the front door. The masked stranger threw itself at her, sending her crashing into a glass coffee table, which shattered beneath her. As Olivia lay in pain amidst the broken glass, the creature loomed over her, dropping down and bringing its face mere inches from hers. In that moment, Olivia finally saw the true visage hidden beneath the mask. The masked stranger's face resembled a naked mole rat, its skin bleached white by chemicals. Its eyes were a mess of tumors and scar tissue oozing with black purple pus. The soft tissue of its nose and ears appeared partially digested and its gums were black, secreting a foul ichor and lined with fragments of broken teeth. However, its two front cuspids were perfectly maintained, protruding from its gums like razor-sharp blades. In a desperate act of self-preservation, Olivia thrust a shard of glass deep into the creature's neck, piercing through to its vertebrae. Black tar-like blood gushed from the wound and the masked stranger fell backward, writhing on the floor in agony. Olivia staggered to her feet, limping toward the front door before breaking into a run. Fearing the creature would pursue her, she pounded on the door of the neighboring house until a light appeared upstairs. The door opened, revealing a familiar face, Mr. Thompson, her Sunday school. And thus, Olivia managed to escape from that demonic person, but she lost her two friends, Sophia and Liam. The next day, along with the bodies of her friends, Another body was found in that house, but the body of that demonic person was not found. No one knows how he disappeared.